Hello everyone, in this video I am going to tell you about cannabis. So basically cannabis refers to a group of three plants with psychoactive properties and these are known as cannabis sativa, cannabis indica and cannabis ruteralis. It is the most commonly abused drug in India and also in the United States. The another name for cannabis are as I already written here marijuana, ganja, weed or sometimes we can call them hash, pot or grass based on the particular region in which they are being consumed. It grows all over India and the whole plant is poisonous. So what is the mechanism of action of this cannabis? So it is a fat soluble oleoresin cannabinol, the active form being THC. So what is this THC? This is the active form in the cannabis plant. So the THC is delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol. So this is the main component that leads to the psychoactive effect in particular person who is consuming it. It also contains benzopyrene which is a carcinogen that is found in the tobacco. And what does this THC do? It binds to the anandamide receptors in the brain. So when it binds to the anandamide receptors in the brain, the both catecholamine release and inhibition of sympathetic reflexes can be seen. So, when catecholamines will be released, there will be increase in the heart rate of the patient while when sympathetic reflexes inhibition will be there, there will be orthostatic hypotension will be there. So, what are its different preparations that we can see? So, different preparation being bhang, ganja and jaras. These are the form that are present in India. So, how they are prepared? So, for bhang, the source is dried leaves. In case of ganja, the source is flowering top of a female plant, while in case of charas, the source is resinous exudate from leaves and stem. So, these are the different sources you can say of bhang, ganja and charas. So, what is the particular color of this bhang? So, the color of bhang is brownish in color, while as of ganja, it is rusty green and charas is brownish in color. So, what is the principle you can say. So, bhang it is 15% potent, ganja is 25% potent while charas is 25 to 40% potent. So, it is the maximum uh, effect or you can say the maximum uh, psychoactive uh, symptoms that a person can have will be from charas component of the cannabis. So, it is used as a beverage usually in festivals in India while ganja it is smoked with tobacco and jaras it is also smoked with tobacco so this is the basic overlay you can say of the cannabis weed marijuana or ganja now we will see that if a person consume them like if a person will come to your hospital or will come to you while complaining that he has consumed cannabis so what are the symptoms so symptoms usually occurs within a few minutes of smoking and they usually occurs in two stages so the what are the two stages the first stage is stage of excitement and the second stage is stage of narcosis so in case of excitement there will be feeling of euphoria whenever the person will smoke cannabis he will be having a feeling of euphoria dreaminess detachment sense of slowing of time and increase in confidence he will be more talkative and laughing and rapidly changing emotion so this is the state of excitement uh, first symptoms that will appear in the person then there will be increase in appetite and thrust there will be short-term memory and decrease in the concentration of the particular patient another tachycardia as i already told you or due to catecholamine release dry mouth, slurred speech and increase in urinary frequency will also be seen. While other symptoms include visual hallucination and nausea, headache and dizziness. So this is, these are all the symptoms. Uh, it is not very definitive that a person will have all these symptoms. Some patient may have only this type of symptom, some will have only these type of symptoms. So it varies from person to person. So the second stage is stage of narcosis. So in this stage of narcosis, there will be incoordination, confusion, ataxia and ultimately it will lead to parasthesis. When a person goes to deep sleep, it, and the person in the stage of narcosis will go to deep sleep and wakes up without depression, hangover and nausea. So this is a symptom cycle you can say that after consuming so much cannabis, the patient will go to this uh, deep sleep and he will wake up without any sign of depression hangover or nausea. 
Also in rare cases, some patient when they consume very high amount of cannabis or you can say the preparations which I have already told you, jaras, mang or ganja, it can lead to coma, collapse and death. So the fatal dose of all the three like ang, it is 10 gram per kg. The bhang on the four fatal dose will be 10 gram per kg body weight. Jaras will be 2 gram, ganja will be 8 gram. So as you can see the most potent being Charas. So Charas is highly toxic you can say when if it is done in a very high amount. So what is the treatment? Whenever the patient will come to you or you will know someone who have consumed cannabis. So what are the sim uh, treatment that you can give him? First of all gastric lavage with warm water. Gastric lavage is to be given with warm water. Tea and coffee will be given to that person. Also artificial respiration is needed in many cases. 100 ml of 50% glucose or dextrose with 2 mg naloxone and 100 mg IV thymine is to be given in these patients. Diazepam 5 to 10 mg if the patient is violent or aggressive. If after consuming cannabis the patient appears to have the signs of violence and aggression then you can give diazepam 5 to 10 mg and haloperidol to control psychotic manifestation. So this is all about the treatment aspect. There is also another aspect uh, that is uh, uh, usually linked with cannabis uh, consumption that is run amok. What is run amok? There is usually a psychic disturbance due to chronic or sudden use of cannabis. Whenever the person consumes the cannabis in a sudden like uh, in half an hour he consumes so much amount then it can lead to this run amok situation. So what usually happen? There is proceeded mania that is usually linked with violent impulse to kill people. So, whenever the person consumes a very high amount or if the person is consuming the uh, cannabis for a longer period of time, he will have this homicidal mania and violent impulse to kill people. And this is very important because whenever a person consumes cannabis and he goes into this run of state, then he is not held responsible for his crime. So, this is like an important aspect as regarding cannabis. So this is the treatment, sinus symptoms and all the main things that you need to at least learn for your exam point of view. Like this is the basic thing. So thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I hope you like it and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.